And welcome back to Gaming with God. I'm your host, Grumpy Old Dude. And we are now going to begin with episode four in our playthrough on Celasta, Crown of the Magister, full release today, May 27th, no longer in early access. We have already been to Carelem. We've cleared Carelem. Uh, went through the tunnels coming back, went to the council, and we have now been given the mission to bring back a Sorak head. We have seen Lieutenant Stonebeard and gotten the location on the map where uh, Daliat and the scouts had gone on their expedition, leading the Soraks back to Care Lamb. And we are now ready to begin. Now we have a number of items that have value to certain factions. The antiquarians would prefer this one. The other three treat it pretty evenly. The antiquarians would be favorable on that one. And that one. All three of those are going to be most beneficial to the antiquarians. What do we have here? Nothing. And nothing there. The antiquarians again are most favorable. Yeah, let's see. I'm not sure. I think the antiquarians might be the ones that uh, are in the cask, grave cask, whatever the hell it is, the hotel. Hellman Summer here. Clear skies, my friends. Okay. Until we get the Sorak head, <coughs> nothing's going to come of that. which is the one again. There we go. Alright, how much weight did I have here that's free available? I have 35.4 and 30 would be 65.4 64.3 112.7 about 150 pounds about 150 pounds <clears throat> it's 2 pounds 2.1 2.2 2.3 that gives me 2.3 pounds. Big freaking deal. I have two foods. Four, five, five, ten. Mm. Put those back in here. There we go. Hello, Annie. We wanted to talk about Care Lem. I'm all ears. No one's there anymore. Ah, you want to claim the place. How does it work again? We go there and scavenge everything you didn't take, and you get a percentage. We can't promise you it's safe. <laughs> it never is. Once we get there, we'll set up an outpost of our own. I'll check with the council first. But thanks anyway. What do we do next? 
Once we've done our work, I'll let you know. You'll just have to come by and collect your share. Okay, there won't be much of Caroline wine. <laughs> Pretty well cleaned it out. Let's take a look at the uh, tutorial scavenger system. Okay, let's see here. There's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. toward uh, the ancient library, Mage Tower, I think they call it, actually. Right here, possible Sorak base. Travel. Four days. Start traveling. Here we go. And then it does the scroll of magic missiles. Let's do another one. And resume. Peter collects some crafting ingredients, magnesium. The party doesn't find any food, passes an ancient tree old enough to have survived the cataclysm, plays some skills, a uh, game of skill with stones, has finished crafting a potion of healing. We're going to call that good. Resume. Neta is halfway done with the potion of or the scroll of magic missiles. Cedric has crafted a potion of healing. Resume. Bellin starts a game of dice. Spectral spiders, two of them. Uh, we are not surprised. Uh, do we want to hide or fight them? We are gonna fight them. You don't get experience points by hiding. You get experience points by killing shit. Levitation spells and artifacts allow you to float up or down instead of climbing. You can also force an enemy to float in midair instead of rushing towards you if its size is medium or smaller. Click or press any key to continue. Battle starts. Uh, I did not get good initiative rolls. Spectral spiders. I don't know shit about them. Goes there, readies his crossbow, and says stand ready with a ranged attack. Peter! I go to here, ready his bow and arrow, and I don't think they're in range. They are not. So, ready. The ranged attack. Ready for the ranged attack. Ready for the ranged attack. What? Ah! Uh. Ooh, that didn't accomplish my work. Four shots, one hit, and barely. Not good. A fine stroke! Ooh. 
in the knee. Oh, one. That did accomplish much, did it? Can't win. He'll heal up just from sleeping. He's in the long rest. Meta has finished the scroll of magic missiles. Do another one. And resume. Balin finished the poison. Resume. Game of dice. Did bury for food. After found eight foods during the course of the day. So they now have. Oh, now. What did they run out of? They ran out of. Galavian Amaranth. Resume. Didn't quite make it to the Sorak base here before daytime ran out. Nope. We are surprised by bandits. After moving the camera around to examine your surroundings, you can... Whoops. <laughs> you can center something or other, it went on to say. Hmm. Thugs. Cedric. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. oh, we were surprised we didn't get to go, that's right. They get a free round. Okay. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Hit Peter for nine. Ooh. Ranger says, ah! Ah! 
Still with us. She and the shit beat out of her. Yeah. Kill either one of them. Crap. You like it? Nice. <laughs> now one of them's down. She is hurting now. Wasn't what I wanted to do. I owe you one. Modest success.
I was sure. That must have hurt. Spiritual hammer. Thompson. <laughs> Thugs are not poor. Still ten pounds over. Camping, long resting. As they now move into the possible Sorak base. To better navigate in three dimensions, activate, deactivate the camera planar mode with the button in the center of the compass. <clears throat> Bottom right of the screen. And that was why I moved my um, photo capture of me. I raised it up a little bit down here in the lower right corner so that it was no longer covering the compass. And we are ready now to continue. Okay. Make sure everybody's ready for missile weapons here. Because that's where I'm at in the game. Here we go. There we be. What is this? These aren't Sorax. They seem human. What exactly are they doing? What's it look like they're doing? They're digging something up. Power of magic, perhaps, owned by one of the masters of Mana Callan's Arcanium. Who are these people? Scavengers? Hard to say. I see no tent or flag signifying their allegiance. Well, there is one way to find out. Perhaps we should sneak a little closer. Or simply walk in and see how friendly they are. Okay, let's see here. Oh. 
There we go. There's a couple of them running up here. All right, no talking then. Kill them. Oh, kill them. Okay. Well, that answers that Looks question. Looks like there won't be any parlay. Perhaps oh. you tried to be loud instead. That wasn't good. Even the dead could hear you. Crap. Time to change weapons. Oh, well struck. Oh. systems. He thinks he's slick. Oh! Well done. Ah! She's gonna run over there. 
Here, don't you say anything. them to you down. She's working her way over there to climb up on top. Come up from behind. him down dead. Now she climbs up. But they all got too many piecemeal. Oh, Go big. on. Yeah. Mm. His ability to take that hit. Another good hit. Ah! Ow! You never stood a chance. Three arrows and two crossbow bolts took her down. So, what do you think? I see nothing to indicate they're reptilian. What's that symbol there? The tattoo? Looks like an A. They all have it. Guess they're all part of the same club. Well, there's no reason to assume it signifies something sinister. Do you think it has anything to do with the Sorax? A stands for Arivad, an evil god from old Tiamar. I read about him. The Sorax call him Sortar. Sor Akath means beloved of Sortar in their tongue. We better be careful. And don't forget, we need the head of a Sorak. Well, that was more information than I've ever gotten before. Mm. Let's see here. Guidance to help pick this lock. And fail. Let's give the tools to my wizard. We will let her try. Got it. What did we just pick up there? Animal friendship. We'll give that to the clerk. 
Use these tools back to the ranger. And a light crossbow. Okay, now. There's another chest. There it is over here. And it's not so much a chest as it's just a pile of stuff. With something in it. Or something under it. Breastplate. Color spray. That'll go there. Down here. Huh. Alrighty. Yeah, we discovered a bunch of things. Let's see what we got. Anything special here? Let's see. Nothing special there. Nothing special there. These can be crafted into something. Nothing special there. And nothing special here. So, nothing to be identified. She rolled a three. Yeah. Said try not to roll a one. She didn't roll a one. She rolled a three. Which didn't really make any difference. Here we go. Yes, I arrow. Food and antitoxin. Now she's overloaded already. Good lord. Please don't kill me. What are you doing here? I'm just a worker. Are you tattooed with an A? In leather armor. I, I, you don't understand. Are you one of them? One of what? I'm just trying to survive. I had no choice. What does the tattoo signify? It's... I can't... Uh... Uh... He's dead. How is that possible? How is any of this possible? He was doomed from the start. Yeah. There is nothing there to be had. 
He's wearing a perfectly good suit of leather ah. armor. You can't take it. <laughs> what are you for weight? Ah, uh, 24.4 pounds worth. Okay, let's see. There you go. Now he can take eight more pounds. Take a half a pound. What do we got here? Still eight pounds, seven point nine. There's a good chunk. Oh, that was too much. Two point four pounds over, and it doesn't show as encumbered. That's odd. I am five pounds under. There we go. 1.6 under, 1.1 under, 1.3 under, 0.1 under. Okay, so nobody is now in cover. There we go. Undignified. That's what I wanted. Necessary. Uh, just gotta shuffle stuff around. Of course, once they pick up a book, they'll be uncovered. Now, this kind of surprised me. Huh. Okay, if that air current would move that rock up, last thing I'm going to do is put my body into that air current. That was unexpected. But Magic from a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah, it's in my contract. contract. Did Karen not tell you? Might be good to remember what these blue currents can do. Blue? Thought I saw green. Okay, blue green. All right, but if those currents can do that, why am I going to do this and just jump across there? <laughs> I don't quite follow that. Okay. Look at this place. I've never seen so many books. It would take a lifetime to read them all, even for an elf. Must be worth a fortune. If only we could get everything back to Care Kiflin. I see the point of the scavengers now. Why not keep this to ourselves? Yeah. I even know. We're only about 50 minutes in on session four. I am going to call this a day. 
Um, the mannequin on the library, I want to just do that in one swoop. I don't want to break it in half. So once we're in it, so I'm going to stop here and session five will pick up and we'll go through the Manicolin and library and then uh, the Sorak encounter at the end and back to Kier Kiflin. For now, we're going to wrap it up. Comment down below. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Uh, if you don't like me, that's fine. Say that. Say, Jim, I don't like you, you old bastard. That's fine. I spent 18 years in the Army. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Okay, my skin's thicker than that. If there's something I'm doing you do like, tell me that. Say, hey, dude, I kind of like it when you do this, blah, blah, blah. Then I'll try and do more of blah, 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 whatever that happens to be. Click the like button. Click the subscribe so you get notified when I post new content. Uh, take care of yourselves until I see you again. And as always, stay the hell off my lawn. Thank you much, folks. Everybody take care and enjoy. Bye-bye.